Greetings, Captain. Welcome aboard the UC Vigilance. Did you have any questions before I escort you to the Commander? Yeah, listen to him. Carefully. The Commander's a one-and-done kind of officer. In other words, he hates to repeat himself. Other than that, just observe standard military decorum, and it should keep you from serving any time on the ship's cleaning detail. I'm not authorized to divulge information about this vessel. Suffice to say, it's one of the toughest ships in the UC's arsenal. All right. This way, please. So... You're the vanguard that took down that Terramorph on Tau City. upstairs is talking about it. Dang. That was the Condes on level two. Firefight. Try not to drink too much coffee last night. Fun. Need to swap shifts. We don't normally see that kind of action on the vigilance, but we have our moments. All right, Vanguard. Take the lift up to Ops. Commander Akande should be waiting for you. Good luck. If our instrumentation is rated for long-term exposure to this level of cold. Can we try and focus on the matter at hand, please? Ah, there you are. Commander Kibwe Kande, UC Sistef. Glad to have you aboard. I was beginning to think you were having second thoughts about Commander Tuala's offer. UC Sysdev is a division of the UC Navy. While they handle big picture stuff, we deal specifically with pirates. Since you're already involved with the Vanguard, I don't have to underline how important your contribution will be to the security of our spaceways. Yes, I know. I was intentionally vague when I advised Mast of my needs, but rest assured, I'll answer all your questions in due time. So, now that you're part of the team, allow me to introduce you to your new home. This is the operation center of the UC Vigilance, SysDef's nerve center dedicated to the destruction of the Crimson Fleet. Hmm, that's strange. According to your file, you've encountered them before. On Vectera, specifically. They were the pirates that attacked your mining outpost? I'm surprised you don't remember. We are currently in the Sol system, in deep orbit around Phobos. As to why, I'll explain momentarily. Whether this ship is impressive or not, you're the key element that we've been lacking. We need eyes and ears inside the Crimson Fleet. Someone who can feed us information, evidence, and expose their weaknesses. The catch is that you can't just knock on their front door and ask for an application. Getting inside is going to take some finesse. Let's get one thing straight right now, soldier. I don't care if you're from the Vanguard, the Navy, or the technician that scrapes the carbon scoring of the engine nozzles. In my eyes, your past service no longer matters. You're now an agent of Sister, meaning that it's my job to keep you alive.
good. I have just the right place for you to start. Our intelligence has managed to find a possible opening into the Crimson Fleet through Sersha Borden, one of their contacts. She works for the Trade Authority in Sidonia, so you'll be using a container of Aurora we've loaded on your ship to get her attention. Aurora is a Class A controlled substance that's illegal to transport outside of Neon, a city on Voli. Get caught with this stuff aboard a ship, and you're looking at some serious fines. That's classified. Suffice to say that the smuggler who was... You'd better hope so. Sersha won't be easy to dupe. Once you bluff your way into the Crimson Fleet, then the operation proceeds to evidence gathering. That's where my second-in-command, Lieutenant Gillian Toft, comes into the picture. She'll explain everything you need to know. Let's just say my superiors need proof that engaging the Crimson Fleet is a larger priority than they're willing to admit. If we shove enough concrete evidence under their noses, they'll have no choice but to allocate the resources that I've requested. At the same time, we can use the evidence to arrest members of the Crimson Fleet, weakening them enough to strike a fatal blow. Eager to get going? Good. Remember, this entire operation rests on your ability to infiltrate the Crimson Fleet and bring us the evidence we need to take them down. Then you better learn to swim, because you're diving right into the deep end on this one. I've studied your profile. I know you can do this. I'm not about to throw away someone's life on a whim or a prayer. Just use your best judgment. Trust your instincts. Watch your back. I wouldn't expect any less. Look, before you begin, I want to make something perfectly clear. As an undercover operative for UC Sysdev, you'll be expected to follow our code of conduct and ethics. Allow yourself to stray too far off the path and you stand a good chance of spiraling out of control. The Crimson Fleet doesn't follow the rules. They only abide by one thing. Money. All of their morals and social graces fall by the wayside in pursuit of their greed. At first glance, this can appear quite enticing. So I'm warning you not to get lured into their trap. Think you can handle that? To put it simply, you can't go into every situation with guns blazing. Think before you act. Calculate what you're doing and pull the trigger only when it's absolutely necessary. At the end of the day, your primary goal is taking down the Crimson Fleet. That's the greater good. That's what I wanted to hear. Anyway, it's time to hand you over to Lieutenant Toft. She'll brief you about the details of the evidence-gathering portion of the operation. Now, get out of here, and good luck. While you're running with the Crimson Fleet, you're undoubtedly going to be faced with some morally gray decisions. It's going to be difficult for you to weigh the consequences of pulling the trigger while maintaining your cover. Do what you have to do, but remember why you're out there in the first place. Then you do what you have to do. The Crimson Fleet has the potential to kill hundreds, even thousands of people per year. If it takes a few deaths to maintain your cover, then so be it but only as an absolutely final resort. 
This is not a licensed killing spree. Understood? That's why I expect you to constantly seek alternative means to overcome your obstacles, rather than blowing holes in them. Look, I can see that you're struggling with this. So let me simplify this for you. If there's a route to your goal which doesn't involve killing innocent people, I'm urging you to follow that path. Use your instincts. I'm certain you'll do the right thing. For your own safety, nobody but myself and the crew of the Vigilance will be aware that you're working for the United Colonies. Basically, if you land in jail, you're going to have to deal with the fines. All we know is that she's been with the Trade Authority for years, which means she's been privy to some seriously shady deals. She's shrewd and she's diligent. The only reason we were able to connect her with the Crimson Fleet at all was thanks to an informant. I'm afraid she's the best lead we've got. That's easy to answer. You don't. We'll be monitoring your activities from the Vigilance and attempting to keep it within your vicinity. When you feel you've gathered enough evidence, and at the completion of your assignments, head back here for a debrief. Beyond that, you're completely on your own. As you were. Yes? All right. We don't have a lot of time, so I need you to listen up. While you're working undercover, it's imperative that you gather as much evidence as possible. If you find any records that look suspicious or incriminating, you bring it to me. Is that understood? Well, since it isn't every day we stumble across a criminal's fully written confession, we need to build a case against our suspects. The more evidence we acquire, the stronger our case becomes. And knowing the Crimson Fleet, they'll leave plenty of evidence for you to find. I'd scour every inch of wherever the Crimson Fleet sends you. Otherwise, you're wasting our time and risking your neck for nothing. Criminals are sloppy. Look hard enough and I'm certain you'll stumble across their mess. You better make it, because Commander Akande cashed in all his chips to get this operation off the ground. I want data slates, computer downloads, handwritten notes. Hell, I'll take anything if it'll get those bastards thrown into the brig. Haven't you been paying attention? Our goal here is the complete eradication of the Crimson Fleet. In order to do that, we need to dismantle them piece by piece from within. If you bring me evidence, we can make arrests and slowly drain their resources. Think of it as a death by a thousand tiny cuts. You're damn right I do. That minor skirmish you had with them on Vectera was nothing compared to the death and destruction those pirates leave behind. If you've seen what I've seen, You'd understand why I'm pushing you so hard. What? No. It's personal. It has nothing to do with you. Just stick to the mission and you'll be fine. Then you'll understand why it's so important that this operation is successful. Anyway. Before I let you go, there's just one more thing. Commander Akande has authorized a credit disbursement for each piece of evidence that you return, as compensation for your efforts. Well, that's just it. You're not career military, are you? And speaking frankly, you're completely out of pocket during this operation. 
You'll be paying for your own supplies and other unexpected incidentals. So, if I were you, I'd stop asking questions and accept the compensation. It's not generous, it's motivational. Commander Akande's idea. All right, we've loaded a container of Aurora into your ship's cargo hold. We're also providing you with a sample you can use to tease the goods. We've cleared your ship for launch. Proceed to Sidonia. Make contact with Searsha Bowden. And with any luck, she'll point you to the Crimson Fleet. That should do it. You're dismissed. Don't worry, the container's been registered with UC Security, so you shouldn't have any trouble. Even if you're scanned. Of course, if we find out you tried to sell it to someone outside the boundaries of this particular operation... Well, I don't think I need to tell you the consequences of making that mistake. Lieutenant we'll be keeping them close at hand until this operation is complete. So, we'll be holding them in the Vigilance's brig. If you're feeling particularly ruthless, you could always head down there and say hello. I'm sure they'll be thrilled to see you. Did you know? I did a thesis. Not really. No. I've learned to keep my personal experiences separate from the job. But if it gets my ship exploding off the line, then I'm all for it. <sighs> yeah. Maybe. No, it's not really an appropriate time to be going over my private life. There are much more important things to be done. Let's just stick to the job at hand and concentrate on the mission. But, uh, maybe we can talk about it some other time, okay? Let me know if you need anything else. Sidonia's a great place to open up a business. We've really been booming lately. It's great. Have a good one. How's it going? Can I help you? If you're here to buy or sell, you might want to talk to Octai. I'm busy. Octai and Bayar. He's the head of our Sidonia branch. If you want to do some trading, he's the one you need to be talking to. I'm busy. Hmm. Wouldn't be the first time I've heard that line. Oh, don't give me that look. I'm just having a laugh. What have you got for me? Whoa, way too hot for me. That stuff is nothing but bad news. Why don't you take your shipment and try somewhere else? The Trade Authority turning away contraband? Now I've seen everything. Here's an idea. Why don't you shout that louder so everyone at UC Security hears? <sighs> Either show me what you're trying to unload or get the hell out of here. I'm not talking price until I know what the hell I'm buying. Hmm. Aurora, huh? Nice. A little too hot to handle, though. What else you got? The Trade Authority turning away contraband. Now I've seen everything.
All I'm going to point out is the ceiling, with my middle finger. Get that stuff out of here before UC security catches on. Of course, if there's a finder's fee you're offering, I might, well, bend the rules a little bit. You know, it's funny. Suddenly, I do remember someone who might be able to unload that stuff for you. Well, well. It appears she suddenly remembers everything. Hmm, how nice. There's a buddy of mine who runs with the Crimson Fleet. Goes by the name Adler Kemp. If he isn't passed out, you can find him killing the rest of his brain cells at the Broken Spear. Oh, and uh, it's been a pleasure doing business with you. What can I help you with? Unless you're here to serve me another drink, you can turn around and walk away. Hey, why don't you say that a little louder? I don't think every single UC guard in Sidonia heard you! Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I think we can help you with this. If you've got a whole shipment of this stuff, you're going to need to move it fast. But you're going to have to do something for us first. Pipe down! What the hell's the matter with you? You want to get us both thrown into lockup? Look, I don't know what that big mouth Searsha told you, but I keep who I run with a secret in public. And I suggest you do the same. Now, do you want my help moving your product, or not? You're a clever one, aren't you? Let's just say, I have a certain influential affiliation. And leave it at that. Basically, you want that Aurora moved, I'm your guy. Right down to business! And no small talk. I like it. Well, this is utterly ridiculous. Do we really have to jump through these hoops to get what we need from you? <sighs> Lady, if you want me to move that shipment for your pal here, you're going to do whatever the hell I want. You got that? Now listen up, because I'm not going to repeat myself. I need you to deal with a miner who's racked up a bunch of debt. Probably spent it all on booze, not that I blame you. Either way, I want that money back. What do I need to do here? Write you an instruction manual? You can do this loud, you can do this quiet. I don't care. I just want my goddamn money, and I want this guy to remember who he screwed over. Feel free to throw as many credits in my face as you want, but that isn't the point. We need to make an example out of this guy. His name's Carl Fielding. I think you'll find him wandering around the Deimos Miners' quarters. Don't worry, you can't miss him. Just look for the most miserable looking guy in the entire place. When you Always nice to kick back in the Broken Spear after a long day. Something I can help you with? Always drink responsibly. Adler Kemp. Who the heck is that? <clears throat> of course I owe money. Unless you're independently wealthy. Everyone's in debt nowadays. I owe Deimos. I owe my landlord. I owe Galbank. Heck, I have a tab at Parsec Deep at Sespear. It's an endless list. So why don't you just leave me here? Let me get drunk and find someone else to bother. Okay? Uh, 
Adler, you said? Uh, nope. I think you have me mixed up with someone else. <laughs> uh, look, I'm tired. It's been a long day in the mines. I just want to go home, wash off the dust, and relax. This has been fun, though. Adler, uh, Adler, Adler. Oh, wait, you mean that Adler? Yeah, sorry. I thought you were talking about someone else. <laughs> I told him I'd pay up next week when Deimos cuts our next profit share check. I'll even bring it to him personally. Hmm? Sound good? Yeah? Well, I mean, he doesn't really have a choice. Look, I haven't got a single credit to spare right now, okay? You can't squeeze blood from a stone. You know? Right? Perhaps he's already been through enough. <sighs> I'm a miner for Deimos. It's not what I was hoping for out of life, but here I am. Yeah, it's a lousy company. It pays me a salary, but I depend on the profit-sharing bonuses to keep food on the table for my family. Holy crap! Really? You'd do that for me? Wow. I, I don't even know what to say. Thank you. For everything. And don't worry. I'll never borrow anything from Adler again. I promise. Look at that. I knew that bum was holding out on me. He going to be a problem anymore? Or did he get the message? Nice. Nice! You're kind of a natural at this. Leaning on deadbeats comes easy to you. I like that. You know, if you like this kind of work, I can get you more. A lot more. You think you can handle running with my, uh, associates? If you haven't figured that out by now, then maybe you aren't cut out for our line of work. <laughs> I'm interested. Come on. You're not shopping for real estate here. I'm offering you a crack at some real money. So can you handle it or what? <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. I like your style. All right. I'll call ahead and get a hold of Neva Mora. She's second to the big boss himself. Head out to Europa. You'll find her there. I suggest you listen to whatever she has to say. Oh, and I've taken care of that Aurora shipment for you, too. Don't spend all that cash in one place. 